Hello guys, in this video, we will be discussing about special limits. Some of the limit theorems in calculus are based on this special limit theorems. Now our goal here is to find the limit. For example, if we have here the limit of x over sine x x approaches to 0. The given function here is a trigonometric function sine. So we have to base on the special limit theorem stating that if we have the limit sine x over x as x approaches to 0, it has a limit value of 1. So this is our first special limit theorem, having a trigonometric function sine. From our given problem, we have here our sine trigonometric function. Therefore, we will be basing on this special limit theorem. Now our goal is to have the same function x. If we have a function x inside sine, then our denominator should also be having a function x. If we have a function 3x inside sine, then we should have a 3x function on the denominator to have a limit value of 1. If the function or the argument inside sine is 5x, then we should have 5x on the denominator to have a limit value of 1. So at this point, our denominator sine x must have a denominator of x so that we could say that the limit of sine x over x is equal to 1. And this is what we're going to do. We are going to divide both numerator and denominator with x. So this is now the limit of x. That is our numerator and our denominator is sine x. At this point, we are going to divide our numerator with x. If you divide numerator with x, also divide on the denominator with x, just to maintain the originality of the function. As x approaches to 0. Now from here, we have to simplify, so we will be writing limit. And what is the limit of x? What is x over x? It's 1 over, okay, we have here sine x over x as x approaches to 0. Now again, our basis of our special limit theorem is this. And so, in finding the limit of a rational expression or rational function, we have to give limit to both numerator and limit to the denominator. So this is now the limit of 1 as x approaches to 0 over the limit of sine x over x as x approaches to 0. From that, the numerator is a limit of a constant. So recalling limit of a constant, limit of a constant is a constant. At this point, we will not be writing limit word anymore because we are now applying the limit. And then the limit of sine x over x as x approaches to zero, the denominator part is our special limit theorem, which is equal to one. So this is over one. So one over one is one. This is now our limit value. Another example, If we have here sine 8x all over x, find the limit of sine 8x over x as x approaches to 0. Now, still, our given function is having a trigonometric function sign. So, we still be using, we will still be using the special limit theorem sine x over x. 
is equal to 1. Now, whatever the function inside the sign must also be the function in on the denominator part so that we can use the special limit theorem. Limit sine x over x is equal to 1. So our function inside sine is 8x. If this is 8x, then our denominator should also be 8x. How to do that? By multiplying both numerator and denominator with 8. And this is valid anyway. 8 over 8 is 1. And what is 1 times this? We still be going back with our original function. Now simplifying, this is now the limit. 8 times sine 8x is 8 sine 8x. You cannot multiply 8 and 8x. Over, what is 8 times x? This is now 8x. As x approaches to 0. Now from here, we can actually break. Okay, This is just equal to the limit of 8 times sine 8x over 8x. It's x approaches to 0. So from this point, it means to say that we are actually um, separating 8 and sine 8x over 8x. So that we could give limit to every function. So this is limit of a product. Recalling limit of a product. So giving limit to 8. So this is now the limit of 8 times as x approaches to 0 and the other one giving limit so we have here sine 8x all over 8x as x approaches to 0 now what is the limit of a constant 8 the limit of a constant 8 is 8 times what is the limit of sine 8x over 8x according to here it's 1 because we are satisfying our goal that whatever the function inside sine must also be the function on the denominator. So this is now times 1. So what is 8 times 1? This is now 8. 8 is our limit value. Another example. If we have here limit of 1 minus cos 7x over x, as x approaches to 0, at this point we are now dealing with cosine trigonometric function and we have a second special limit theorem. It says that if we have the limit of 1 minus cos x over x as x approaches to 0 this just equal to 0 so whatever the function inside the cos must also be the function on the denominator part okay so that we could say that the limit value is 0 At this point we will be basing from this special limit theorem the given problem so as you notice we have here 1 minus cos but the inside function of the cosine is 7x. So our goal is that our denominator must be also 7x. How to do that? By multiplying both numerator and denominator with 7. Anyway, 7 over 7 is just 1. Times this function, we will still be going back with our original function. Simplifying, this is now the limit. 7 times 1 minus cosine 7x. This is just 7 times 1 minus cos sine. We can now use bracket because we will be using braces, uh, parentheses here. So when you multiply 7 and 1 minus cos sine 7x, just multiply. Okay, do not simplify. Do not distribute. So what is 7 times x? This is now 7x. As x approaches to 0. So this is now equivalent to the limit of sine times, so we are going to let 7 be separated. So this is now 1 minus cos 7x all over 
7x. Okay, so this is actually inside um, the function of limit. And then at this point, we are now ready to give limit to the first function and limit to the second function because this is limit of the product in particular. So this is now the limit of 7 as x approaches to 0 times giving limit also on the second term. So this is now the limit of 1 minus cos 7x all over 7x. So we are now ready to apply the limit. So what is the limit of a constant 7? It is 7 times. What is the limit of 1 minus cos sine 7x over 7x? It follows from the special limit theorem, which is having a limit value of 0. So what is 7 times 0? 0. 0 is our limit value. Thank you for watching.